Beverly Hills, land of the rich, home of the famous. Sure, the stereotypes exist, but what most people don't know is the truth behind the plastic. If there is anything I have learned in all my years as a plastic surgeon, it's that appearances are not always as they seem. I get patients from all over the world, from celebrities to the average everyday housewife. But there is one thing they all have in common. Everyone needs a lift. Welcome to my world. Hi. How are you? Make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much. My name is Chuck Lauberman. A lot of people ask me how old I am. I'll tell them 97 and they'll tell me that you look great for your age, but I'm really 72. And I am in the insurance business. I'm an insurance broker. Stresses of the job are, some days they're absolutely unreal. They are, the stresses are created by many of my clients who need service immediately. They want to make changes, they, they need something, and anytime people need anything, they need it yesterday. But they do uh, put the stress on, on the brokers that are out there, including myself. Regarding my appearance, well, that's been around for uh, a long time, 72 years, and over the years it's gotten a little bit saggier, my whole face, and probably for the last 15 years my appearance has, it really hasn't affected my business, but deep down I know that uh, people will look at me and say, oh, you've got something hanging there, but they won't say it. They won't say it, but I have to deal with that, and. For years I've been thinking about having something done and I think now is the time to do it. It's never too late, no matter what your age is. I'm doing it. My wife and I have two children. My wife and I have been married for 49 years, believe it or not, can't believe that. Well, my wife has gotten involved, although she said that if I didn't do anything she would still love me like she has always loved me. However, uh, if it's my choosing, she has had work done by Dr. Kasabian and has done a fabulous job on my wife, Nadine. And uh, after so many years, uh, it's time to go forward and have it done. Been many, many years that I've been thinking about it, and Nadine has said, again, whatever you want to do is fine with her. And I made that decision. And the funny thing is, when I tell people that I'm going to be having it done, or thinking of having it done, usually people say when you're going for any kind of plastic surgery, you don't need it. Forget about it. You're perfect the way you are. But nobody said that when I thought about having it done, and that scares me. Today, I'm here to see Dr. Kasabian to talk about what options I have. We will be certainly looking at my neck, and hopefully I don't have to look at my neck anymore because it's taking up the whole mirror. Not having any kind of surgery in the past I know what I look like now, good, bad, or indifferent, I'm happy with that, and you're always concerned about what you will look like later on. But seeing some of the things that Dr. Kasabian has, has done on other folks, including my wife, Nadine, that uh, I am ready to go forward. Hi Chuck, how are you? Dr. Kasabian, good or, to see you, I'm fine, nice thank you. Nice seeing you too. I'd ask you what brings you in today, but I have a hint because I spoke to Nadine. Yes. So let, tell me, tell me what, what you've been up to. Well, what, what, what are you thinking? We have, we have been talking about this for many, many years. And I think- Yeah, it's, like 10 years. It's just about, I've been, we can go out to dinner together <laughs> <laughs> at this time. Uh, yeah. I think it's time that I have something done. I'm really concerned about my neck. Um, and I would like to hear what you have to say so I can yeah. make a final decision. 10 years is a long time. Well, Chuck, you're a good looking guy and uh, you're in the public side. Uh, you're, you're in the sales business, so uh, insurance being in the sales business. Sure. So, so uh, and you're wearing a shirt and a tie and it's accentuating 
your neck more. So regarding your neck, uh, there's you need a neck lift. For that, there's three factors. The muscle is weak, that needs to be tightened. Here, especially, especially in the middle, the platysma bands are sh made tighter, trimmer, so to give you definition here. Mm -hmm. Another thing is there's extra fat that's going to be suctioned off and then the extra skin is going to be trimmed off. The incisions, is, it's not going to be visible. It starts in the fold here. It's going to go behind your ear mm -hmm. and in the back and a tiny incision here to tighten up the muscle. Will I be able to take any of that fat home and cook it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that we Can't keep it that. here. You okay. have to depart with that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but this is what is gonna give you the jawline and the neck definition that you've never had. Right, well, I'm really concerned about getting a jawline because like you said, I've never had it before. You know, that's, It's gonna uh, look that good, sounds... it's gonna make you look not only younger, but, but uh, lighter looking because mm -hmm. a heavy uh, neck makes you look heavier. Right, right. And uh, so the whole procedure should take about two and a half hours. Right. And then you go to the recovery place. There's drains that come out the next day. Okay. And then healing time, you're looking about a week, 10 days. Okay. Can I go back and have sex uh, the next day? <laughs> <laughs> That's up to you and your wife. Okay. Uh, but uh, as far as um, the recovery phase, I want you to take it easy for about a week, meaning you can go back to work, but right. I want you to keep your chin up okay so that you don't put a lot of strain on your on the skin on the on the incisions behind your ear mm -hmm. so the, the main thing is to keep your chin up so I don't want you looking down like that to right, the computer right. to your to your uh, iPhone or whatnot and right. uh, and uh, also turning left and right is uh, I want you to be careful so it's a little bit of work on my part or just to be aware of it right right okay and and is there anything else that you might feel that I may need doing? What would your recommendation well, we, be? Well, you need the pre-op clearance. The most important mm -hmm. is to your blood pressure, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll look at all the factors. But we need that's the most important blood pressure to be going up and down, sure. and that would sure. cause bleeding. And right. men and and we don't want your blood pressure going <laughs> up either. <laughs> well, the, the important thing is because men's skin is thicker, and there yes. is a bit, and because of all the hair, it's more vascular, so there's more tendency for, for bleeding. So we wanna control all those factors. Mm -hmm. Control your blood pressure, make sure you're not on aspirin, mm -hmm. so your blood is not thin, Right. and um, the, the rest of uh, And how the far, if I can ask a question, how far does that pull go? Um, does it go far beyond my ears, or? The incision is gonna start here in the fold here, it's gonna be nicely hidden and then in the back of your ear mm -hmm. and in the groove here and, and by the hairline here. Okay. And a tiny one in the fold here. Right, so right. Uh, you, the incision heals very well. I, mm -hmm. I pl place it nicely. It's under minimal tension. Mm -hmm. so, so that also promotes good uh, scar healing. Well, it sounds, uh, it sounds good to me. Uh, I know I'm going to be in good hands, and uh, I look forward to seeing the results. Yeah, well, if anybody's a candidate, you are for this procedure, <laughs> so I, I'm excited to see the final result. Me too, me okay. too. Okay. Thank you. All right, Dr. Nice. Kasabian, it was a pleasure to see you again. Nice seeing you too, and uh, we we're doing this finally. We are, absolutely. <laughs> I just met with Dr. Kasabian, and after a conversation, he spent quite a bit of time with me. Uh, he made me feel at home, he made me feel comfortable knowing what he would be doing beforehand, what's going to happen after, and after 10 years that I can recall, uh, it's time and I'm going forward with it. He explained everything about what he's going to be doing with my neck and uh, I was very comfortable about it and I made the decision going forward.
Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Dr. How are you today? Sagan. I'm good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Today's the day. Today's the day. You're all prepared to handle I'm, me? I'm good to go, but tell me, do you have any last minute questions? Um, my only question basically would be, uh, are you prepared? Yes. yes. Okay. Let me go over the, the, yeah, the, I, the plan. Okay. Uh, basically, first, I'm going to tighten up the muscles here. Yes. And then getting rid of the extra fat, mm -hmm. okay, and the extra skin is going to drape. The mm -hmm. incision is going to go like this. It's going to come in this fold mm -hmm. behind your ear in this in, in this uh, fold here. And then we're going to go be, by your hairline right okay. there. When you wake up, you're going to have two drains. Those come mm -hmm. out the next day. Okay? okay. And you're going to go overnight to a recovery place. I see. And That's, how long would you say the surgery would be? About two and a half to three hours. I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Um, and you're prepared? I mean, I'm prepared. I'm excited. We've been waiting 10 years for this. <laughs> well, that's a long time to study. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go Excellent. ahead. Excellent. Looking okay. forward to it. Okay. I'll see you on the recovery. That's right. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Hi, right, Chuck. Today's the day. I'm okay. Ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. This is it. Follow me here. You're going to be fine. <laughs>